basic operations level two looking at multiplication in our multiplication level two there are eleven books we will look at each one of these books at the end of our eleven books we can also check and see how well we did by doing our mastery book before we do our multiplication problems let's first of all review what factoring is first of all we had to have a definition of factoring we remember factoring is building a rectangle and how did we factor we factored by going over and up from here on out it is very important that we stress the movement over and up in factoring, we first of all started with our amount. We started with our largest amount and we came over one, up, the rest, and then we checked to see if we could put our units in the corner. And here we can see that we would only be able to put four units in the corner if it didn't work with one on the side we would try two on the side and then we could put our units in the corner here we had x squared plus 5x plus 6 x squared and our 5x plus 6 and we factored it we were able to take the amount we started with the amount and we built a rectangle. What were we looking for? We were looking for the dimensions. Factors and dimensions mean the same thing. What do dimension, dimensions mean? The word dimension means distance over, distance up. With reference to a two-dimensional area Dimension is distance over, distance up. We started with the amount and we found the dimensions. Our dimension over x plus 2 our dimension up x plus 1, 2, 3 We could have done this very same thing in base x, or I should say do the very same thing in base 10. We just factored an amount in base x. We call it base x because our bars and squares sit on a base of x. We could have done the same thing in base 10. We could have started with the amount 156 156 100 5 bars and 6 units it's also very important at this point that we emphasize from the beginning we should em be emphasizing that we are never counting anything above 9 this is 1 square 5 bar 6 units one square, five bars, six units, 156. Here again, we would try one on the side, the rest on the top. If that didn't work, we would try two on the side, the rest on the top. We are already competent in factoring, so we will just put it together here. We see that it factors just like our amount in base x. Before we finish factoring this, let's see why this is base 10. It's base 10 because it sits on a base of 10. Our bar sits on a base of 10. We now 
now fill in the corner. And we started with the amount, and now we must read the dimensions, distance over and distance up, once we have placed the amount in a rectangular shape. Our distance over is 10 plus 2, 10 plus 2, our distance up is 10 plus 3. It's very important that when we look at these parentheses with the amounts in the parentheses that we recognize that this represents distance. 10 plus 2, what is it? It is a distance. It's a dimension, and a dimension is either an over or an up distance. This is an over distance. This is a distance up. Now that we understand that factoring is building a rectangle starting with amount, we can now discuss multiplication. We must have a definition of multiplication. Multiplication is building a rectangle. Our definition for multiplication is exactly the same as factoring. There is one difference, and that is our point of view. In multiplication, we are starting with the dimensions and finding the amount. Let's write a problem down here. 10 plus 2 over 10 plus 3 up. Ten plus two over ten plus three up. We are given two factors. With those two factors, we must build a rectangle. Now, before we start building our rectangle, it's important that the student has preparatory work in identifying over distances and up distances. Notice, we have a grid here. Here you can see over 10, over 10, over 10, over 30, up 40. Or better, over 1, two, three. We are over three. We are over three tens. We are over three, three bars of ten. And that's what's important is that we see that we're over three bars of ten. Now notice, we have the factors over ten plus two, up ten plus three or better, over one bar over two units. Up one bar, up three units. What is the color that we use for a 10? We've been using blue. So as an exercise, the student can trace over one bar Let's go over one bar, plus we must go over two units, two units. Okay, the colors may not show up that well, but I am going up 10 in blue, 10 up in blue, and 3 up in green. It 
It's very important that I learn how to trace dimensions an over distance and an up distance. Let's look at another problem. Let's look at some factors over 20 plus 3, up 10 plus 4. I must indicate which is the over dimension, which is the up dimension. Ten plus three over, excuse me, twenty plus three over, ten plus four up. And we'll slide this down here and place this. Okay, we must be over twenty plus three or two bars plus three units. Okay, let's trace over ten or over one bar, over two bars. We must be over two bars and three units. Okay, we must be up ten bars, not ten bars, ten or one bar. We come up one bar of ten and four units. Okay, notice we are practicing identifying distances. Distances over and distances up. Now that we've had practice identifying distances over and up, and let me point out that it is very important that we are able to identify objects or rectangles by two names. We should be able to recognize rectangles and identify them with the name of the amount and the name of the dimensions. Let's look at some examples here before we move on. Let's look at this amount here, or I should say let us look at this rectangle and let us name it. Let's name this rectangle with reference to the amount first. What is the amount? Now a student or yourself should be able to look at this and tell me immediately that the amount is nine. Nine squares, nine square hundreds, nine hundred. We should be able to look and see that what we have is three squares, three times, three, three times is nine, nine squares, each square is a hundred, nine hundred. We should also be able to name this rectangle with reference to its dimensions. How far are we over? We are over one, two, three. We are over three bars of ten. We are up one, two, three bars of ten. My dimensions are three bars of ten by three bars of ten. And it is very important that the emphasis is on the three, three bars of ten, up three bars of ten. 
Let's do a little more here. Let's look at this amount here. And I should not phrase that amount. I should phrase that, let's look at this rectangle. Name the rectangle for me. First of all, in terms of amount, what is the name? And you should be able to tell me that it is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. See here we've got four, nine times. You should tell, be able to tell me that the amount is 36. 36. 36 bars. 36 bars of 10. How do we write 36 bars? We write 36 bars by writing 36. Thirty six bars. The one zero says bars. Thirty six tens or three hundred and sixty. You should also be able to name this rectangle by giving me the over distance. What is the over distance? Four. Our over distance is four. And it's important that the emphasis is on the four, four bars of ten, and the up distance is nine, nine units. Let's look again at an amount, not an amount, at a rectangle. Let's look at a rectangle name the rectangle. The rectangle has two names. One name is the amount, the other name the dimensions. Now you should be able to look at that and tell me immediately what the amount is. The name in terms of amount is one, two, three, four, five, five, four times, twenty. The name is twenty. Twenty what? Twenty squares. How do we write squares? Two zeros. Twenty squares or twenty hundreds? Two thousand. Our dimensions are one, two, three, four, five, Five is the dimension over five bars of ten. The dimension up is one, two, three, four. Four. Four bars of ten. Now that we have our rectangle sitting here, let's look at a multiplication problem. In multiplication, we start out with the dimensions. Let's look at something like Let's make it something like 12 times 14. 12 times 14. Of course, we will rewrite that from shorthand to longhand. We will rewrite that as 10 plus 2 and 10 plus 4. 
Here we have over distance, up distance. Okay, we have to build a rectangle given that information. Let's build our rectangle. Notice, we have to come over one bar of 10. Let's do that. Let's come over one bar of 10. Here I will come over one bar of 10. And I'll slide this over so that's all we see is that we're over. We are over 10. But we need to come over two more units. I will do that. I will come over two more units. I have come over my over distance. 10 plus 2. I am over 10 plus 2. Now let me check and see how far I should be up. I should be up 10 plus 4. I will come up 10. I must also come up 4 more. I have come up 4 more. I am over 10 plus 2. I am up 10 plus 4. And now to complete my rectangle, I need to fill in the corner. Here, I will get out the piece to fill in the corner. Okay, notice, I built my rectangle starting with my distances over and up, dimensions, or factors. Notice, I now have multiplied because I have built a rectangle. Multiplication is building a rectangle. I was given what? I was given one name. This is one name. Dimensions or factors is one name of a rectangle. Now I want to find the other name for the rectangle, the amount. I will write down the amount. But what I can see is that my rectangle is made up of four rectangles. So let's write down the amount in each one of those rectangles. Notice There is the rectangle to the top and to the right. It contains eight units. There is the rectangle next to the units. It contains four tens. Here we have this rectangle with two tens. And here we have this rectangle 100. So what do we have totally? We have 100. We have six tens. 
we have h units or we have 168. What did we do when we multiplied? We found the second name or the other name for the rectangle. We were given the first name, the factors. Now we must find the second name, the amount, 168.